Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over how to make this pattern on this robe. Um, this is a robe I got from dharmatrading.com and um, this is an Ichijimi pattern that is done with a square block. So anyway, I love this robe. Um, I made this robe when I made my bridesmaids robes and um, everybody really liked their robe. So it's a great present. You can make this for a lot of people um, or you can do this on something else. It's just a really fun, simple pattern that you can shibori. Um, this is a rayon and um, it takes the indigo pretty well. So I definitely would recommend working with rayon. Um, anyway, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more shibori and dyeing type videos. So thanks for watching and let's get into it. So first what I'm going to do is take the bathrobe out of the package and get it as nicely ironed as I can. This is rayon so it's very drapey and very wrinkly. Um, and then I'm going to line it up, um, folding it at the center front and line up the seams together so that it's as smooth as it can be. And the great thing about a kimono is that it's literally a square. Um, the front pieces cross over the center front so that it can close in the front. Um, so they're a little longer, but I'm just going to work those into the folds as I go. So you can see they're a little bit longer there, but that's fine. So I'm just going to give it some more steam, some more heat and get it as smooth as I possibly can. With shibori, it's always nice to iron things as much as you can, especially if you're doing a woven piece. Okay, so I'm going to start accordion, accordion folding and I'm gonna get out my blocks to make sure that my first fold is about the right width. So I'm measuring to check and that looks good. I don't want it to be too small. I want to have some overlap because that's going to be the blue. And that looks about right. It's probably about half an inch on each side. And then I'm going to accordion fold it back and forth, back and forth, giving it some steam. And then I'm going to do the sleeves. I'm just going to follow suit to make sure that everything is falling into line with that original fold that I made. And see, there's the front piece that I'm folding back just to make it all the same. I just want it to be like one skinny long triangle, I mean rectangle. I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing. And once you have the first side done, it's a little bit easier. So I'm just going to keep going on the other side, keep ironing it. If there's any like weird things, just tuck them in and that's fine. And then I'm going to fold it in half the other way and check to make sure that it's going to fit my block and accordion fold it into a square. Now it's getting pretty thick, so I'm giving it quite a lot of steam and I'm gonna sandwich my blocks, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then secure it with some rubber bands. I'm gonna do it as tight as it can go. So next I'm going to tie up the sash, um, which is quite small. So I'm just going to fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, and accordion fold it into a about four inch fold. I'm gonna give it a little steam. And then I'm gonna tie it up with some string. I'm gonna start in the middle. Well, I already have some string, so I'm gonna just use that. I'm gonna start in the middle, tie it up tight, leave a little tail, and then tightly wrap it down to one side and through the other. And then I'll just wrap all the string I have. 
to make sure it's nice and tight. You want to get a good resist on that one. So once it's tied up, they are ready to go into the mat. So now it's time to dip my bathrobe here and I'm Go, I've got my vat mixed up and I've gotten all of the um, flour off the top. So I'm going to submerge it into the vat here. And I'm going to just put the whole thing in. Go like this, like this. It's pretty tightly bound and I want to make sure um, it gets enough glue on there. So I'm also going to just move these rubber bands. You can see how there's some resist there. I don't really want a really hard resist on these rubber bands. So I'm just going to move them and I'm going to dip it one more time. All right, and I'm gonna dip again. I'm gonna squeeze it in. All right, so I'm gonna leave some, I'm not gonna squeeze it too hard, I'm gonna leave some in there to seep in deeper into the folds. I'm gonna let it dry. Um, and I have to draw dip also the uh, the sash now. So now I'm gonna just dip it quickly. It's very small, so I don't want it to get too, too blue. So I'm just gonna dip it really fast. Okay. I'm sure that's plenty. You can see there's some white in there, which is very good. All right, and I'm gonna squeeze that out, squeeze that into itself. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Now it's time to open up the shibori robe. So I'm gonna get in here and open up my shibori robe and cut the rubber bands. turned out beautiful, very nice. So now I'm going to lay it to dry completely before I wash. So now I'm going to do the tie, the sash, which has been tied with rope. I'm going to just carefully cut the rope in the string and I don't want to cut my fabric. So I'm going to just go carefully. This one's like pretty dry because it's so small. All right, that's a nice resist there. So you can see some of the strings made impressions. And then down here, you have a little more white where it was folded. Very nice, this turned out very cute. All right, so I'm gonna let it, to, let it sit and dry. Um, with the robe and then I'll wash it as soon as everything is dry. So I let it dry and then I washed it with Synthropol and dried it on hot. And I think it looks really great. Um, it's ready to wear. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Also share with anyone that you think might enjoy a Shibori tutorial. Thanks and I will see you guys next time.